Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading now. So I've shuffled the cards, laid them out, and we can begin. This is going to be focused on your love life for the month of November 2019. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Okay, so let's see. I do have a card that is talking about a spiritual connection that could be shared between you and this individual concerned, okay? For some of you, you may have already met this individual. For others, this could be a new person that is on their way to you. So I'm reading the energies that are most important for your zodiac sign of Sagittarius. So I see here that, you know, you could be experiencing a very powerful connection with an individual that, you know, you want to be with. And I feel like this individual feels it as well. For some of you, this could be a soulmate connection. It could be a past life connection, potentially even a twin flame connection. There might be certain elements that you recognize in this individual's personality that really, you know, make you feel drawn to them. There's this magnetic pull. You can't quite understand it. You can't explain it. They can't understand it. They can't explain it. But the two of you have this connection. It's a powerful bond. It's something that is rare. It's something that is special. Okay. So... The cards are talking about emotions, firstly, but I feel like there's a conflict when it comes to these emotions. I'm sensing here that this is a bit of a complicated situation. Some of you may have broken up with this individual. Others, you know, you might be on the way towards, you know, having some sort of difficulty in your relationship. I'm picking up a conflict. I'm picking up difficulties and challenges arising from the fact that this individual might not be comfortable with their emotions. But I'm sensing here that they're trying to be as optimistic as possible. So the card that is really interesting for me is the one in the past position. When the two of you met, things were, you know, just clicking between the two of you. There was this phenomenal, amazing connection. You felt drawn to them. Again, I feel like there was this divine guidance that was, uh, you know, watching over your union with this person. But I'm sensing that this individual feels a little bit conflicted. They don't know, you know, what to do with regard to their emotions and their feelings for you. They could have choices. There could be things that are contributing to, you know, the difficulty in the situation. And these could be external factors. I am sensing from their energy that they feel very stressed out about something. Something really makes them feel overwhelmed, okay? And I feel like this individual is trying to be optimistic in light of what has happened, but it hasn't necessarily been easy. Okay, so let's have a look at some additional energies. So this energy that has fallen out is showing to me that this person is, you know, the type of individual that always likes to win, always likes to be there for people that they care about. I feel like they try to be as fair as possible to everyone around them, but they also neglect their own sense of well-being. I do pick up that energy. That's why there's a clash with their emotions. This might be a very loving, very giving individual, but also I feel like they have a fear of being taken for granted or they have a fear that someone might not treat them with the respect, love and care that they deserve. Okay, So they're bringing that energy into their union with you. And this could be something that you don't really understand completely, but sometimes, you know, some individuals, they have a very loving nature and there's other individuals who like to take advantage of that. So I feel like that's one of the major issues here. It might be a very subtle energy. It might be something that you're unaware of, but it is there, okay? Okay, so I'm just trying to figure out what this individual is, you know, feeling so confused about. Yeah, I feel like they feel confused in terms of communicating to you. There's something they have to say to you. There's something they want to say to you. But it's making them feel like, you know, 
they're feeling uncomfortable in terms of expressing it and uh, you know coming clean when it comes to their emotions it makes them feel like you know what are you going to think of them you know and I feel like their emotions and the emotional well-being of this individual it has to change at some point it can't be like this I feel like this individual that you're dealing with, they hide some of the insecurities. And I do feel like they're hiding the emotions. It's like they are afraid of what you might think of them. And uh, that's coming across very strongly, okay? So let's have a look at the next energy. I feel like, you know, this person, they have some romantic feelings for you. And they want to get that off their chest but they're holding it in, okay? And this is making the two of you feel very, very frustrated, okay? I'm definitely picking up the energy of frustration. So let's see. Yeah. I feel like someone wants commitment and stability and one individual, you know, they really want it as well, but they're also fighting that fear of being disappointed or saddened by something. It's like they are holding back to a certain extent. They could have a fear of commitment. They could have a fear of being in a serious relationship as well. So let's have a look at the next card. I see that from their energy, this person that you're dealing with, they have this duality in their character. Sometimes they can be very passionate, sometimes they can be very cold, but they do have a fear of someone betraying them or being dishonest to them, okay? And I feel like they hold on to their grief quite long, but it doesn't really help them. I see that this individual is hoping to have, you know, some sort of serious relationship with you. They're hoping to have something of significant value in the situation. That's why they're watching you so closely. I'm also picking up that energy. They're trying to, you know, suss you out and trying to figure if you're going to do something that is, um, you know, going against what the two of you share with one another. It's like a fear, like, you know, they're watching, analyzing, and trying to figure out if you're gonna move on with someone else or what's gonna happen. So if the two of you broke up, just be aware that this individual could be looking at your life very closely on social media or whatever, you know, profiles you have online because they feel like they have their insecurities, but they're also trying at the same time to see if the two of you can have a serious relationship with one another. I see that they're also hoping for some sort of movement in the situation that could be very exciting energy. Let's have a look at it further. see is that this individual, they've really been through a gamut of emotions. I feel like they've been dealing with conflict, they've been dealing with regrets, there's been a lot of drama surrounding this individual's life. It might have flowed over into your life, you might have, you know, gotten a worth of it as well, because I feel like the road and the path towards having happiness with this individual is not going to be easy, but it's definitely going to be worth it. I see a lot of happiness being derived from this connection. I also see from this connection that the two of you are going to have a very powerful chemistry. And I'm also noticing that, you know, where things were wrong in the relationships that you had previously to this individual and for this individual as well, things are going to be right between the two of you. So I feel like the two of you are going to balance each other out in the amazing way. There is that very strong possibility. I am seeing that they are trying to gather up the courage to communicate with you. They do have that intention. It could be because of the Mercury retrograde, but I feel like they want to reach out 
you know, sometime soon. And uh, what I'm picking up is that they're looking for that intimacy with you, but I also feel like they're hoping for a new beginning, but they, you know, they feel a little bit nervous about it. So just be aware of that energy. Anything that you post right now on social media is going to have an effect upon this individual, and uh, you, you wouldn't want to be saying anything that uh, is not directed towards them because they could perceive it in the wrong way. That's my advice for your tarot card reading. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.